Okay, this is part two here. Got the uh, transmitter in the wash tub. We're down in the basement. And uh, as you can see, I got the knobs off. And I washed those separately. I took the finals out, washed those separately. And it was a 12BY7 tube here. Washed that separately. Took out the circuit board, washed that separately. And we're going to wash the rest of it now with the uh, with the paintbrush and the soap. The soap I have is uh, down here in a container. It is uh, dishwashing soap, which I should have gotten ready. Give me just a second here while I get it open. There we go managed to do that without spilling it and still running the camera using the handheld camera here so we just dip the paintbrush in the soap and water this is just water with a couple of squirts of uh, dishwashing liquid in there and I think it's Dawn dishwashing liquid so we just get in there with the uh, with the brush Look at those chokes completely covered with dirt there. You see it coming off there. Those are the parasitic chokes that go on top of the 6146 tubes. And uh, you know this rig has a lot of dust and dirt in it, but uh, it's just cleaning up nicely. So it's going to be fine. So that's pretty much got the final compartment there. I'll go ahead and rinse that out. There we go. It's just an old piece of uh, an old garden hose I use so I can do that. I've got it connected to the spout there in the laundry tub here. Get that rinsed out. Now we'll go. This part down in here is really bad. I did take the meter out. You see the meter is gone. I am not going to wash a meter. You get water in a meter and you probably will ruin it. So if you're going to wash a rig, don't wash it with the meter in it. Oh, this metal work and all is just beautiful down in here. Once the uh, dust and dirt is off. washing in the VFO here. Now when I get done washing I'm going to bake it in the oven. I'll take a make a little video of that too uh, when I bake it. This is a real nice operating CW transmitter and my friend he has the matching receiver already and it's operational so he'll be all set here when we get going when we get it working for him. So anyhow, I'll go ahead and finish up here with this. I just wanted to, I'm using warm water to rinse. Look how nicely that's cleaning up. Looks all new down in there. So I'll get this finished washing here. Then I'm going to put it in the oven and bake it for a couple of hours. And I, my oven here will go down to 170 degrees, so that works really nice for the baking job. You don't want too much heat, because you have plastic parts in here. You don't want to hurt the plastic parts. So that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and then uh, I'll make another little video then when I put it in the oven. So 73s and good DX.